This is Cooking with M.E. And me, I'm Jody. With M.E. Myalgic encephalomyelitis. It's fall, and that is beef stew weather, so we're making a simple, not necessarily quick, but you can make it quickly if you choose. Beef stew. Red wine beef stew. I'm giving this recipe a 50% functional ability rating. Though if you take some shortcuts, like using pre-cut stew beef and pre-cut vegetables, you may be able to pull this off on a 40% day. First, we need to decide how we're going to make this. While we contemplate that question, I'll roll a list of ingredients across the bottom of the screen. Back to the question. Do we want to cook this on the stovetop for two hours and have to babysit it? Do we want to put the stew in the oven for two hours and come back and check on it? Or do we want to make life easy and get out an electronic device, like a slow cooker or instant pot? Our next decision is how we want to cook our beef. The typical advice is to dry your meat thoroughly and sear it off on the stovetop. But that's time consuming, and no matter how hard you try, you just can't get an even sear, usually. My favorite alternative is to roast the meat under a broiler for about 10 minutes, then take a break. Upon our return to the kitchen, we find some beautifully brown beef that we can then just transfer into the pot along with its juices. Next, cut the vegetables into large-ish chunks and simply smash the garlic cloves to remove their peels. Try to cut everything about the same size so it cooks evenly. Peeling the potatoes is absolutely optional. I just chose to do it because I'm serving this to company. As an aside, I almost never peel my carrots unless they're really gross on the outside. It's a waste of energy and nutrients. You can just wash them. Anyway, just add your vegetables to the pot and take another break. Now it's time for the liquids. You can either buy a box of stock or broth or bone broth or make it yourself. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use Better Than Bouillon roasted beef base mixed into two cups of water. In addition to the broth, we'll add some tomato paste, which really amps up the heartiness of the soup with its rich umami flavor. Now for the wine. This is a use what you've got situation. If you've got a Pinot Noir sitting around, great, that's perfect. You have a cheap four pack of quote, sweet red wine, go for it. If you don't drink wine, try unsweetened cranberry juice. If you do buy a full bottle of wine and don't use all of it and don't plan on drinking it, you can make ice cubes for later. Let's add a few herbs to finish this off. I'm going with dried rosemary, a couple of bay leaves, and some dried sage. You could also use a poultry blend, either dried or fresh. You're mainly looking for sage, rosemary, and thyme. In the instant pot, we will close the lid and either close the seal and pressure cook this for 45 minutes, or put the lid on, leave the seal open, and slow cook it for at least six hours, unless all your components are cut smaller, in which case 30 minute pressure and four hours slow cooking should be fine. If you've opted for the Dutch oven, once everything is in the pot, bring it to a boil and then either simmer it on the stovetop for two hours or put it in a 325F160C oven for two hours, checking for liquid about an hour through and most likely adding two more cups of water. Now go get on with your life and come back later to some delicious, hearty, homemade beef stew. Serve it with some crusty bread, um, maybe even a salad if you like that kind of thing, and enjoy. I don't know about you, but I had some leftover stew, so I decided to transform it into kind of like a pot pie cobbler type thing. I stored the leftovers in this low flat container so that I could do this 
easily while saving a dish. I heated it up a little bit while I prepared a simple drop biscuit dough plus chives and a little cheddar cheese. So I'll just scoop that dough onto the top of my stew and pop it in a 375F oven for another 20 minutes or so. It's even better the next day, of course. I really hope you try some permutation of this beef stew. And as always, please leave me a comment letting me know your thoughts. Thank you for being with me, and stay tuned for more Cooking with Emmy.